Someone tried me again. I just, I don't know. I don't understand why people keep trying me because I'm very nice to a point. I don't stay nice forever. And I think people don't realize that. They think that because I'm nice that you could just be a bitch to me. I barely use the word bitch, but I think that you could be a bitch to me and just like, I'll be like, oh, okay, go ahead, do your thing. But I won't, I won't. I will speak my mind, I will open my mouth and I'll put you in check. So this is the story of the lady at the post office who tried it. This was a couple days ago. I've told the story a few times and every single time people are just like exhausted listening to it as I was exhausted experiencing it because she put me through something so traumatic that I don't know if I can recover. No, I'm just kidding. So it was not that bad, but it definitely, I just don't, I don't like people give me attitude for no reason. Like I just never understand why someone needs to give unsolicited attitude because I feel like if you want to get rude, you can get rude, but let me give you a reason to get rude. Otherwise it's just, you're just a bitter, miserable person and I don't feel sorry for you. So, okay, here's the story. It all started at seven in the morning. <laughs> I wake up at 6.30 now, start my day. And this day I, was, I had slept over at my boyfriend. So I left his house at around 6.30 in the morning, whatever, so I don't know. I'm on my way home and I'm like, oh, I have a couple packages to deliver. Why don't I get that out of the way and go to the post office since there's probably gonna be no line because it's early in the morning, you know, it's very early. So, I decide to go to the post office and the lady instantly is just, just straight up rude. I walk in with a smile as I always do. It's going on eight in the morning at this point. It's early. I don't expect anyone to give me sunshine and rainbows when it's early. I just expect them to be average, maybe kind, maybe kind, but like I don't expect them to be a bitch. <laughs> so I get to the post office and the lady, the post office, Clerk, I don't know what we're gonna we're gonna call her evil cow. The evil cow greets me in a very rude manner. Hi, good morning. Hi. I have a couple of items that I'd like to ship. I just don't know how many stamps I need and stuff. I don't really ship things often. I have two. How much? Two. No, how much are they worth? Oh, oh, um, I'm not sure. I was actually given them. I haven't used stamps in forever. Um, this is what they look like. I can't see. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, they say 105, and I have two, so 210. I guess they're worth 210. <sighs> You need two more. Okay, thanks. I'll get two then. Do you have tape by any chance? Okay, I'm just gonna interrupt. I know what you're thinking. You're probably like, Ashley, why are you asking so many damn questions? I work retail. I know what it's like to hear stupid questions from customers and roll your eyes and be like, you should know this. But the truth is, I'm a millennial. I barely mail things out. I don't need to be mailing my documents to my dentist and my lawyer and my this and my that anymore. We don't need to be faxing and mailing things. So yes, maybe I was being annoying by asking questions and it doesn't mean you need to be rude. Do you have tape by any chance? This is not, um, it's not sticking. I think the glue's old. No, you can't put tape over stamps. It's illegal. They're gonna think you're reusing them. Oh my God, really? Oh my God, yesterday I went to the post office and they did it for me. I, I didn't know that it might not be accepted. No, nope. they shouldn't have done that. I can't do that for you. I don't know what location you went to, but we don't do that here. We're not allowed to do that. Oh, no, no. I don't expect you to do it. I'm just concerned because I didn't know that was a thing and the lady still did it anyway. So I'm just nervous that, you know, it might not be accepted, I guess. Is there a big chance of that? I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Okay, so I guess I'll just mail these out then. I'll figure it out. All right, there's a pen over there. Go fill it out. Thank you. Okay. 
already a ship. Oh, and I used this glue. I'd like to pay for this too, please. Not possible. We don't sell the merchandise at the post office. You have to go to the front of the store to buy that. You can't buy that here. Oh, no way. Okay. Yeah, for some reason I thought I, I bought stuff here. Impossible. I can't do that for you. Impossible. Okay. No problem. I'll pay up front then. Do you happen to know how long it might take for it to ship? I can't tell you. I don't know, you know, COVID. I don't know when it's gonna ship. I don't know how long it's gonna take. I don't know when it's gonna get there. Like just like an estimate, like a couple days, over a week. No, we don't know. I don't have the answers for you. Yeah, okay, no worries. Just a little feedback. Um, I understand it's eight in the morning. I don't expect you to be smiling. Sunshine, rainbows, happy, I get it. I'm tired too. But I also don't expect you to be rude because you've been rude to me the second that I got in here. And I just, I'm not appreciating it. I don't have the answer for you. It's not rude, I just don't have the answer. What am I supposed to do, make it up? I understand you can't give me an answer about the time. I get that, this has nothing to do with that. You've been rude the entire time I've been here. I've asked you questions and you have refused to answer all of them. You're making it seem like I'm pulling your teeth out just by asking you a question when that's what you're here to do. I barely ship things. I, I'm not familiar with this process. I expect you to be you know, helpful in that process and you haven't been at all. You've been very rude and I don't appreciate it. Like you're giving me attitude back. It's like you're acting as if I'm supposed to know the answer to all these questions and I get it. You know what you're doing, but I don't. So I expect you to help me with that or at least try to help me. But I literally have not gotten one little bit of help from you. All I've gotten was attitude all morning and I'm not here for it. So I just want to let you know. You're literally walking away while I'm talking to you. Like all of this is just unnecessary. It's unnecessary. You're unnecessary. Okay. All right. Have a great day. Thanks for your help. Bitch said I'm unnecessary. I'm unnecessary. I'm keeping your job alive. I'm unnecessary. What? I was just absolutely mind blown. And like, here's the thing. This is the funny thing. My aunt actually has the exact same job as her, just at another location. I could have gone to my aunt and had the best experience ever. But this is just for me to say, like, I sympathize with her. I understand what she goes through. When my aunt has bad customers, she comes to me, she tells me about them. So me, I'm like, I'm gonna be so nice. That's why I walked in and I, that's how I know I was being nice because I went out of my way to be very nice to her because I know my aunt gets terrible customers. But I'm like at the point where I'm like, you know what? I've been nice for 20 minutes. I've been overly nice. I could have been average. I could have been monotone. I could have been, you know, I could have been rude back to her, but I decided to be so nice and smiling and, oh really? Oh my God. Oh, I can't, you can't do this. I thought that, no, no, I don't usually do that, but I did it because I wanted to, you know, be a good customer because I know my aunt experiences bad ones. So, I'm just like at the point where I'm like, you know what? I've been nice for too damn long. Let me put you in check now. So I put her in check and she was so rude. She was interrupting me while I was talking to her, kept cutting me off. Not only that, she was like walking away while I was talking to her. Even in that entire experience that you just witnessed, I didn't even act out the fact that she was walking away while I was asking her questions. And I was like, bitch, I'm talking to you. Like you're, what? I'm paying. <laughs> okay. So then, I embrace my inner Karen as I do every now and then and I go to the front of the store after she calls me unnecessary and I walked away and I said thank you for your help. I go to the front of the store. I'm like hi, I'd like to pay for this glue stick. Also while you're at it, do you mind paging your manager to the front? I'd like to speak to them. And the person's like, what's it involving? And I was like, oh, I just had a really bad experience at the post office. And she's like, and you could tell that her post office lady, that's her homie. Like you could tell that she wanted to like go warn her because she was like, what do I do? Like do I call? Do I? So she like cashes me out. She's like, okay, I'll call my manager. So she calls the manager and she walks away. And I'm like, the bitch is telling her, she's telling her. So then a manager comes to the front of the store and it's this like guy, he's like maybe like 35, I don't know. I was just like, hi, I just wanted to tell you about the experience that I just had at the post office. It was a very unpleasant experience. She was very rude to me. I walked in, I was nice to her the entire time. I asked her questions and when I was asking her questions, it was like I was pulling her teeth out. Like it was just so terrible. Normally I don't really go to managers. I don't share my experience. I'll just walk out. But like I tried so hard to be nice to her and she was just absolutely awful. And if she was rude, it'd be one thing, but she was rude and she didn't help me. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention because 
I don't like coming in here and having that type of experience. It was very unpleasant. She was just rude as hell and I didn't appreciate it. And like while I'm telling him, he has this like fake concern like, oh. and I'm just like, she's probably your friend too. He's just like, I'm really sorry to hear that. And you know, we never want to hear that our customers are having a bad experience. Unfortunately, I don't actually have any authority over her, but I'll be sure to bring this to the attention of someone that does and I'll let them know what happened. And I'm like, yeah, 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 okay. I don't know if he actually said anything. I just hope that it got back to her so that she knows not to fuck with me the next time I come in. Because the next time I will find the person with authority over her and I'll call their ass and I'll let them know what's happening. When you trigger my inner Karen, she comes out. Like she's out, she's ready to fight. Like, trust me, like don't piss me off in that way. Like if there's one thing I don't like, it's attitude. If you want to do the bare minimum for me, do the bare minimum, that's fine. But like, don't give me attitude. Do not, and do not fail to help me out when I'm clearly in need. I don't know what's happening. I don't. Oh, and before you ask, yes. She was, and she was middle-aged. Mm -hmm. So anyways, I just wanted to share my experience at Shoppers Drug Mart post office and tell you guys what happened and just tell you guys about the lady who tried it. I've gone back since, I have not seen her, but now I go after five because I'm pretty sure her shift is like seven to four or like eight to five, I don't know, something like that. So I just choose to go in the evenings because I don't want her accidentally forgetting to put my stamps on or Oops, forgot to put the return address on or oops, did I forget to put it in the mail slot today and I'm gonna do it a week from now? No, 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 no. I don't wanna risk it because these packages that I send out, I don't send them out often, but when I do, they're usually important or they're Depop orders and those things cost me money. So I hope you guys enjoyed my unpleasant experience. I'll be sure to share more of them if I come across more situations like this. If you like it, if you don't, then I'm sorry for spreading negativity but I'm over it. It was just like an annoying, funny story that I felt like making into a little skit. I just like want excuses to make skits, to be honest. I just have so much fun with them. It brings out my inner child and I have I have so much fun. So if there's anything you ever want to see me like reenact, let me know. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.